Greetings fellow conspirators, Mortarsville here, and welcome back to the BKC Crack Pack server. On the last episode we made this awesome cobalt hammer so that I could go out and gather some obsidian and we could finally, finally make this wither killing machine that I have been going for for all this time. And all of that is of course in order to make these um, imbued tools. Uh, so we've got the imbued sword and the imbued tool which is going to work as an axe, shovel, pick, all that stuff. Um, and they're just going to be awesome, but unfortunately they take tons of nether stars. And with my lag situation, can't make get these too easily by fighting the withers, so we need a machine to kill them. Which is why we're going to build one today. Uh, and uh, of course, if you've missed a couple episodes, I did have one earlier, but uh, it's it's not lag proof. So anyways, uh, we have a auto spawner down here, which is going to provide us with all the wither skeleton skulls that we need, and that's perfectly fine. This is currently how I'm getting my power. Uh, basically, I just have an enormous tree. I have this firewood axe, which is going to auto smelt the wood and fortune it, which gives us a ton of charcoal. Very cool, very renewable, easy to do, um, gives you a lot of power. Also gives you a decent amount of experience as well. Um, and then you just plop down some more saplings, Get rid of the excess, and there it goes. So uh, we've got the power figured out. The other thing that I needed to figure out was the mob essence situation. And I have a temporary setup over here, and I emphasize temporary because that's what it is. Um, but here we go. If we head down this way, you can see we've got a little tank of mob essence. Actually, I'm curious, how long is that? It's been going for a while. Yeah, 63,000 buckets, that's not bad. Or, no, 63 buckets, excuse me, not 63,000. That would be quite a bit more. Um, so that's that's quite a, a lot and what this is this is a simple setup um, I'm sure you've seen it before how am I gonna get back here I guess this is probably the best way um, how this works is we have a lot of essence berry bushes basically all of them that I have collected so far some of them haven't grown yet uh, I could use a watering can to make them grow but not gonna bother with that have a harvester uh, from my factory reloaded it's got a range upgrade in here so it's just harvesting these berries as soon as they grow so we should see these disappear in a second I'm hoping um, sometimes it does seem like it takes the harvester a little while to harvest these because it's checking such a large area but ooh, and that one too um, but eventually we should should see these disappear if I'm not mistaken and there we go so that wasn't too bad right so eventually the uh, berries go into the harvester they get pumped out the back into this autonomous activator um, it right clicks them turns them into experience uh, the sewer grate I believe or sewage grate from mine factory reloaded turns it into X or mob essence puts it into the drum and the cycle continues so again that's not innovative or new everybody's been doing that since the dawn of modern minecraft so um, but I did just want to show you guys how I'm getting my essence currently so anyways, uh, we've got that going for us, and that means we can spawn other wither skeletons if we want to, but that is not the point of this video. That is all the stuff I've been doing off camera, in addition to collecting some obsidian with our hammer, and that means that we can make uh, the wither killing blocks. So we already have the wither killer, right? And that's the uh, functional block of this multi-block structure, and, uh, oh, whoops, it's this one actually. So it takes these wither blocks, which are kind of expensive to make a diamond and obsidian surrounded by obsidian with some iron bars and some other stuff uh, imbued nether star which is of course very expensive so to start it off you need eight nether stars but then you need um, basically a five by five by three hollow of these wither blocks so um, two five by fives is going to be 25 a piece that's 50 and then plus like a ring minus one uh, is going to end up being 65 so it's over a stack of diamonds over eight stacks of obsidian and over eight stacks of iron bars. So quite a bit, or quite a few resources are gonna go into this structure, but it does mean that we're gonna be able to annihilate withers without having to worry about uh, them blowing anything up. So I am all for that. So let's go ahead and get to crafting. Uh, get that out of there. So again, it's just the diamond, surround that in obsidian. That gives you this diamond infused obsidian. Then you just surround that in iron bars, and that gives you a wither block. So let's do that times 64. Bam, and I have, I have everything prepared here. There's our eight stacks of iron bars. Surround these like so, and that will give us enough 
to make the Wither Killer. I am excited. There we go. So there's our stack and one block. And all we need now is put on our helmet, grab that real block, the uh, Wither Killer, and here we go. So I've been thinking, um, where's a good place to put this? Again, it's movable, right? It's not like we're going to put this down and then we can't move it ever again. Um, so we could put it anywhere we like. I think just for the sake of irony, I'm going to put it over here where the old Wither Killer was. Um, just because, you know, it's kind of funny, right? Because I had, I built a thing that, that didn't really work. And so now we're going to build a thing that actually works. So here's how you build it, just in case you are not sure what a 5x5 five five hollow means. That's 4, so here's row number 5. So that's a 5x5. Five five. Then we're going to have a ring around this outside, like that, and we'll leave the center space open. Then we just want another 5x5 five five on top, like so. Um, these blocks do look similar to the ones from Ender IO, which I have found kind of ironic, but they are not to be confused. They are not the same thing at all. These take diamonds. So there we go. Then we have the Wither Killer. By the way, let's let's not do this near the lava. Um, if you just place it on the ground, it looks like a regular Wither Skeleton skull. But if your structure is complete and you put it in, the eyes are red. So that's how you know that you've made it correctly. Okay, so that looks good guys. Uh, we have the Wither Killer ready and also how you know of course if you you can access the inventory and there's the Wither Farm. So what we can do now is grab ourselves some soul sand and I believe I've already shown this on video. Um, I used Ice's and Brethren Luke's Wither Farm earlier. Um, there it is. So you just take your four soul sand and your three Wither Skeleton Skulls. So it's not any cheaper than a normal fight, it's just you don't have to actually do the fight. And I've been farming some of these up over here. One, two, three. Very good. You just put those in, in the pattern, like so. You'll hear some noises of a wither being killed. Although the wither hasn't actually been spawned in. He's not really in there. He's just, um, it's just processing that stuff. And, um, and it, actually, I haven't timed how long it's, it takes. I should probably review the video footage. But um, when it's done, it'll give us another star. So we won't get any of the bonus stuff like the yellow heart or uh, division sigil, I don't believe. I don't think, right? Don't have any of that. Yeah, so it just gives you the nether star. So if you need the division sigils or the uh, yellow hearts, then you might want to actually fight it. But this works just fine for me. That'll get us our nether stars and we can use those to create these imbued tools that I've been raving about for several episodes. So that being said, um, yeah, that's that's everything that I've done off camera and we are ready to roll now. Everything is in place, all these systems are a go to make, what do we want to make first? I guess possibly the imbued sword or the tool. Hmm, eeny meeny miny mo. Imbued sword it is. So we need two of these uh, nether stars. That means we need 16 of them. Um, still will take me a little while to get all that stuff. But uh, once we have it, we can make that. Oh, hang on. And the what is this thing? Oh, that takes another one. So we need nine plus a couple of diamonds. That should be, that, that is easy mode compared to the other stuff. Cool. So I'm actually going to try to do that off camera. And when I return, we will hopefully be able to make an imbued sword. Here we go guys, 24 nether stars coming right up. Took a little while to grind these out of the skeletons, but we finally managed to get it. 24 nether stars. I don't know if that I've ever seen this many, but look at that. And a beautiful ring. We've got these machine cores, so that's going to make one, two, three imbued nether stars. So the first one you just put like this with some diamonds, that gives you an imbued rod. Put two more on top, and that gives you the imbued sword. Watch out for the quick draw, 54 attack damage, 10,000 durability, yes please. Aw oh, man, guys we've been waiting for this so long, oh look at that, it really matches our armor too, that is so cool. Yes, I'm, I am so excited, this this is such an awesome sword, let's go, let's go slice and dice some baddies. 54 attack damage, you know, that's going to pretty much destroy anything um, except for maybe a boss, but even then, you know, killing a wither would only take like a couple of hits. Uh, but looking around, I don't see anyone on the mini-map. I guess they're all scared is what they are. It's not nothing to do with the fact that it's dawn or anything. Uh, let's see, I guess we could go spawn some in in the auto-spawner and test it out. Uh, okay, never mind, I moved the generator. <laughs> That's okay. Um, because we are not done with the sword. It is crafted, but we can still enchant it, which is super cool. 
So here I have an enchanting setup, um, pretty basic stuff. Got an anvil generator for power, and this is the auto disenchanter from Mind Factory Reloaded. Basically, you got some enchanted items, and you put them in this slot, put them on some books in, power it up, and what it's going to do is strip the enchantments off of the items and put them onto the book. So for example, this axe, we're hoping to get the soulbound enchant off, and that will allow us to keep the sword, or once we put it on the sword, we'll, we'll be able to keep it if we die, which will be super useful. So hopefully that's not going to destroy the items, that's why I'm testing it out with the axe first, because uh, the sword is much more valuable. Alright, anyways, so that's going to strip one of the enchantments off. We don't have a way of deciding which one we want, it's just going to do it randomly, so we might have to put it through this thing a couple different times. But then after it's done with this one, um, I want to put that knife, the thief's knife in. So here we go, it's done, hey we got the soul bound, nice. And it didn't seem to take very much durability, that's good, that means it probably won't break that golden sword. Which is nice, so now we can put the imbued sword in, that costs 6 levels, okay, we can do that, that is easy enough. Uh, I guess I can actually go to my essence berry farm, that should probably be the easiest thing to do. It's over here that's uh, filling up my drums with mob essence so that I can spawn those skeletons. Um, I guess over here, yeah. Okay, that's weird. Uh, none of them are grown. And none of them are growing. They should be growing pretty quick, but the drum is empty. That has me a little bit concerned, uh, but I'll figure that out later. No need to worry, we have another source of experience. And that is, of course, if you'll remember, uh, firewood. <laughs> Not only gives us power, it gives us experience. So let's go up here, grow ourselves a quick tree. Um, I'm using spruce just because it makes it two by two. You could use jungle, I mean, you could use anything, but this will just give you the most wood. I uh, need some bone meal. There we go, I've killed enough skeletons. I would think I'd have enough bones. There we go. So we'll just grow ourselves a tree, chop it down. And how many levels do we need again? It was six? We have eight, okay, close enough. Cool, let's get rid of those and put Soulbound on the sword. Where'd it go? There it is. Soulbound one, imbued sword. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, sweet. So now we'll never lose this. If we die, we'll still have it in our inventory so that we can um, go kill some people with it to get our stuff back. So now uh, I'm hoping to get the looting five off of this thief's knife, which by the way, you get that from killing the... Uh, what is it, thief skeletons from special mobs? Occasionally, I think it's a rare drop or something like that. Um, but yeah, so we have that. Uh, looting five would definitely be nice to have on our super sword as well. And uh, of course the fortune five, we can put that on our pick. All right, let me see, are you out of power? Good thing I checked. Okay, but it, it is still working. So again, we don't have any way of choosing which enchantment will go off. Hopefully it's the looting, but we might have to put this through a couple times, and each time it eats away at durability. So we might have to repair it. Oh, nice, but we got the looting five and it didn't destroy it, nice. Very cool. So now, if we wanted to put looting five on our soulbound 54 attack damage sword, it'll cost 17 levels and, oh, that's weird. Looting three. Hmm. Does this, no, no, that says looting five. Huh, uh, maybe this, cause this is a vanilla anvil? That might be it. Okay, um, I know there's some modded anvils, there's, let's see, um, that one's from open blocks. Alright, that's pretty easy to make. Uh, we might be able to do it with, with that. I know there's another one from Mine Factory Reloaded, like you know how we have the auto disenchanter right here. Uh, there's an auto anvil from Mine Factory Reloaded, let's see if we can find that. Um, no, you got a hyphen, there we go. Auto anvil. Um, Alright, that's relatively easy to make as well. And I think that might be able to do these higher level enchants, I'm thinking, because it's, you know, it's not vanilla, but if we can put looting five on this thing, that would be incredible. And then, you know, put sharpness on it, put some, I don't know, just other cool enchants that we can find from modded, it would just be awesome. But anyways, guys, I think that's going to be about it for this video. It's been a while of grindy stuff, but we have finally succeeded in our goal. We have created the super sword, the imbued 54 attack damage, soul bound, soon to be looting 5 sword, it's amazing, I'm so happy, hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did then please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.